Hello and welcome. In this video I want to show you an app that everybody should know who added 360 photos or videos, Reshot 360. This app is free and you get it for Android and iOS. It has some benefits as usually the apps from the manufacturer doesn't have and some of the manufacturer have no from these features at all. Let's start with the photo editing. Simply go to the gallery, select the photo you like and share it with Reshot 360. It will be automatically loaded and then you can select what you want to do. A photo, a video or already in a special resolution for Instagram, YouTube, Facebook and so on. I prefer video or photo and then select the resolution I want later during the export. Let's start with a photo. You can select the aspect ratio as you like. I take one by one. And then there are already some filter like this little planet. There you cannot do anything with your fingers on the photo screen. You have to use the sliders. It's but I will go back and select the editor in the right upper corner. There you have much more options and you can use your finger for reframing the photo. To get a tiny planet you have to zoom in or out and then you can make like an inverted tiny planet or a tiny planet. You can also open this menu and then you have again the sliders if you prefer this way. So let's say that looks fine. We'll go back. In this menu you can check the horizon of your photo and adjust it a bit. But so far I think it's okay. If you mess it up you can simply use this button to go to your initial settings. If you are happy with your reframing, you can select the export button. Then you can select here the resolution. I will choose max. Again, you can change your aspect ratio and also select PNG if you prefer it over JPEG. Press start and it will start to export a photo. That's really fast. So this is the photo. The resolution here is 67 megapixels. The high output resolution is the biggest benefit of this app in my eyes. Usually the manufacturer apps of 360 cameras has an output resolution of around 4 megapixels for reframe photo. That's really not much. If you want to make prints like this and this size 4 megapixel will not give you the quality that you want to see. You need a higher resolution. Use this app also if you want to make like posts somewhere bigger than Instagram then I would also choose a higher resolution. You will see it. Here's an example of the quality of the output of the Reshot 360 app that you can see on the right. On the left it's the output from the Insta360 app. The same photo should be around the same yeah, cut out, not 100% but similar. And you see resolution is 4 megapixels and this is the 67. It's much bigger. If you now zoom in, you begin to see the difference. This is the 4 megapixel photo and here much less pixels visible on the high resolution. See here everything full with pixels and still it's not 100% sharp but it's much better. On this distance you see me much bigger but without pixels and this is really small. You see the whole photo on this. You can also simply start Reshot 360 select a plus button and then select the file that you want to edit.
This time I will edit the photo as an animated video. Again, you have two presets that you can choose. They are working fine, uh, like this, where you take a look around. But you also can select the editor, simply select the uh, starting point that you want, press the plus button so you get the first keyframe, select another point on the timeline. You can also press simply play and wait until the time uh, arrives that you want to edit the next frames. So this I will make a 180 degree turn. So now I will wait for two more seconds, change into a tiny planet. So next keyframe. Now I will make a small uh, little turn and then a quick change to inverted tiny planet and let's say we zoom a little bit in. Okay, let's go back to the start. If you press on a keyframe, you also can delete it. If you press between two keyframes, you get a dotted line and an edit button. If you, oops, no. if you press on it, you have the possibility to select a transition. You have smooth, linear, elastic, that gives you a wobble and also a hard cut. And then you also can uh, change when the um, when the effect should start. So if we go back and take a look, I have just set the uh, effect a little bit later, so at the beginning nothing should happen, and then you see with the wobble there's the 180 turn. The other um, Transition types has been smooth, so as you see, this is a smooth transition. What you also can do, you can simply select a new key point, go to the edit, I will put it back, and select smooth. And here on the spin, you can select a spin around three kind of axis. Let's say we will try this one to the right. Let's take a look. It's a full 360 degree turn. Again, if you are happy with your reframing, you can press the export button you have again here the preset that you can say I want to have it for Instagram or so, or you select the resolution by your own. Then you have also duration. If you say, okay, I want to use it for a story, for Instagram story, I have only 15 seconds. You can disable auto, go to the end, hold it and reduce it to 15 seconds then also your last effect may be not on the video, but it's that what you want. Let's take a look. Yeah, an easy way to animate your photos. You can also edit videos with Reshot 360. Simply select it and now I will choose 16 by 19. Then you also have some presets, but I will go again to the editor to show you how the keyframe works. It's similar to the photo thing. The first thing that I have to do is correct the horizon. I can go again to the sliders. If you have to make only small steps, I would prefer the plus and minus button. 
that's fine I will go back set the first keyframe go on uh, again put it in the middle adjust the horizon fine so that's the new key point This is the next key point, then we will go on. Now we will start to turn into a inverted planet. Zoom a little bit out. Turn it around this way. Set a keyframe and one second later I want to have a fast transformation to a tiny planet. This way I think that looks best. Fine. And a fast turn to a normal view. One year normal. Something like that. Okay, enough for a sample. Here you also have something like a face detection. That's no face that they can recognize right now. That's correct. Then we also have here again the duration that you can change. But I'm fine with the actual settings I will stay with 1080 that was only a 4k video and start let it play I could cut a little bit from the beginning it's not so interesting but as you see, the transitions are smooth and the results looking good. Yeah, so far from the possibility of this app. These are the main functions of the Reshot 360 app. It's for free and I really like the app. There are more functions in the app but they will be part of my second video about the app that should come out soon, so wait for it.